Hi, my name is Abimbola and welcome to today's devotion. I, along with my husband Toba, are the African Connect Pastors. We are continuing with our serious thoughts of Therefore Go. In Matthew 28, we read about the Great Commission where Jesus uh, tells us his followers to go into all the world and make disciples. This week in our devotions, we have been on a journey through 2 Corinthians 5.17 that says, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation, the old has gone and the new is here. We've looked at what it is to be a new creation in Christ. We've looked at letting go of the old, also considered pursuing the love of Jesus. We have also looked at embracing a new identity. Today, we'll finish with restored to life and purpose. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has gone, the new is here. That is according to 2 Corinthians 5.17. God's promise to make us a new creation means that every part of us, even the part we'd rather hide, is redeemed and given new purpose. Jesus finds us in our brokenness and confusion, reminding us that we have value. We have value and worth in his eyes. He doesn't just see you or see who we were, he sees who we can become. As Jesus restores us, he calls us to a life that reflects his love. Being made new means living with hope, joy, and the assurance that God has a purpose for our lives. Let the truth of this verse inspire you to let go of the old and embrace God's purpose for you. You are not just changed, but fully restored to live a life that glorifies him. Shall we pray? Jesus, thank you for finding me and restoring me. Help me to live as a new creation, sharing your love and hope with others. May my life be a reflection of your transformative power. In Jesus' name, amen.